Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're blasting uh, Perverted Ceremony, Sabat of Bezil. Come on, you have Morbid Messiah and his amazing white sneakers along with Baron Von Cemetery. So fucking good. Total rotten old black metal filth. That channels the spirit of Barthrum and the mighty Beherit. Which is what we're going to be going over today. Although these tracks are on the ever so awesome The Oath of Black Blood release. Which has two of the best demos maybe ever. But two Beherit demos from 1990. And we've also gone over Drawing Down the Moon once again. But here we have two of the gnarliest Beherit songs on this nuclear war now. If you spend $50, you get this tape for free. And a friend of mine ended up getting a double and was like, yo, do you want to complete your early Beherit you know, collection. Now, I don't have the legit original physical demos and whatnot. I have the comp, which you can call an album, that is The Oath of Black Blood, but it's pretty much a compilation of two demos from 1990 that are extremely important when it comes to just bestial black death metal. But here we have the Beherit promo tape. Now not only do you get extra photographs of the band, you get two of my favorite Beherit songs, which makes this, you know, with the proclamation fucking reissues right now being available on Nuclear War Now, you have no idea how bummed I am to be broke. Because it's one of those things where you're just better off buying all of them. But, like, I don't have $40. Like, but, fuck. It's just one of those things I was like, oh, man. Like, I need to get these. Like, Proclamation is so fucking good. Like, I, I just love it. But... I also love Beherit. And here we have the Oath of Black Blood on the first side of death. That's what it's actually called. And on the second side of death, we have Dawn of Satan's Millennium. Two of the best Beherit songs all in one place with extra photography that's not included with the Oath of Black Blood. And I always felt that Beherit took some of the filthiest and just most evil promo photos ever. I also thought it was awesome that there's definitely a DRI t-shirt sighting in this photo. Blasphemy demo t-shirt and Morbid Angel. But this right here, like, I can't really read what's written on, uh, Nuclear Holocaustos, what I'm guessing is a upside-down cross, since everybody else has one. But this promo tape is fucking awesome, and so is this Nuclear War Now logo with the toilet. It kind of caught me off guard. I saw it. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> but this is, you know, if you have yet to, you know, pick up the Oath of Black Blood and you're making a Nuclear War Now order, why not just add this if you're spending over $50? Like right now they have the Proclamation reissues. If you're going to buy those 
you might as well spend 50 bucks and get this promo tape for free. Because once it's gone, like the blasphemy ones, it's going to be gone. Like, and again, this is kind of the two songs that, as much as I love, like, The Oath of Black Blood, these are, like, my two favorite tracks on here. Like, every song on here is good. And I'm not just saying that, like, for real. Every song on here is fucking good. But The Oath of Black Blood and Dawn of Satan's Millennium, it's like, fuck yeah. Some of the best finish savagery ever put the fucking tape. And we get to add to our Beharit photo collection, which is awesome. Because these are classic promo photos, and I just think it's awesome to, you know, have these in my possession physically. Like, to me, that stuff's important. You might be like, the fuck, they're just photos, but like, look at that. To me, that's just metal as fuck. And this is back when Beharit you know, didn't consider themselves black metal, they didn't consider themselves death metal, they were just a metal band, although it's definitely bestial black death metal, but it's a lot more death metal oriented than you would think, especially vocally, like there's certain parts where it's like, whoa, like those gutturals are ridiculous. Whereas on Drawing Down the Moon, some of it sounds like it's coming from a computer. This is such a great fucking full length, like, but it's kind of like night and day in comparison to the stuff that's on the promo tape and the Oath of Black Blood, which also contains the two songs that are on the promo tape. It's just right here is literally like the meat and potatoes i mean yeah you're missing out on a lot honestly like definitely you know if you're a fan of beharit or even if you're not and you're new to the band snag this it's completely worth your time and it's legit some of the best underground music to ever come out of finland that's not straight up death metal because then we'd be talking about a whole different, you know, fucking subgenre and bands and shit. But I think it's awesome that Nuclear War Now does stuff like this. Like, lets people who might kind of be on the fence, maybe, or just want to complete their cassette collection like myself. You know, it gives them the opportunity to own something badass like a Beharit fucking promo tape in 2020. Now, who would think you would get something like this technically for free if you're going shopping on the Nuclear War Now website? Which, pretty much all you gotta do is buy an LP, a cassette, or a seven inch and you're pretty much almost there or you can buy one of those fucking sick ass camo blasphemy hoodies which will probably take you to fifty dollars but you have to put this into your checkout or they're not going to send it to you and your email is going to be ignored i liked the cosmetics like using the red tinted shell with the red cassette, that seems to be something that Nuclear War Now has been doing a lot recently. But, like, it's so fitting here. Like, it just adds a little element of awesomeness to an already sick two-track promo tape. So now it's like, if I want to listen to Beharit, it's like, I technically have the three best Beharit releases at my fingertips. 
Like, I'm gonna be listening to this promo tape a lot. Like, as much as I listen to the Oath of Black Blood, like I said, this promo tape kinda has the two songs I like the most. And it's just, you know, I throw on the side of First Death. Once that's over, the second side of Death. With Dawn of Satan's Millennium. Just amazing stuff from Nuclear War now. Hails to YK, and I honestly forget who sent me this. I had two separate people say they were going to send me a copy of this, but I cannot get into my Facebook Messenger, so I do not know who sent me this. So, thank you to the mystery benefactor here. You fucking rule, and hails to Beherit for just fucking ruling and influencing bands like Perverted Ceremony to be evil as fuck and just rotten sounding. Like, listen to this shit. It's awesome. I love Perverted Ceremony. Moen Azebeth, like, that's my shit. Belgian black metal is fucking great. Especially those two bands, like... Fuck yeah. And that's what we've been blasting. Perverted Ceremony, Sabat of Bezil. Classic sounding... Metal of Death from the blackened reaches of Belgium. But... The Beherit promo tape, if you plan on picking up any of those proclamation cassettes and you have at least $50 spent at the Nuclear War Now web store, make sure to snag this before you check out. You have to spend $50. There's no just buying this. That's the thing. So... Keep that in mind, this is definitely an awesome collector's item, in my opinion, and something I wish more record labels would do. Like, make a promo of one of, like, you know, your sicker bands, like, material that's kind of hard to get your hands on. I think that'd be awesome. Like, for example, if Dark Descent had a sale, but then if you spent $50, you got the Blood Incantation Astral Spells, like, promo or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, I think that would be fucking sick. Or, like, you got the original Spectral Voice Rehearsal. Like, that would be awesome and would give you the incentive to spend that money. And here, I'm just fucking grateful to whoever sent this bad boy over with the Oath of Black Blood on the side of First Death and Dawn of Satan's Millennium on the side of Second Death. Both recorded in 1990. Just absolutely amazing stuff right here. I love it. I fucking love Beherit. And like I said, this kind of completes the trifecta. Although these tracks do appear on the Oath of Black Blood, it's a little bit different just having them singled out and with the extra promo photos, it adds that extra element of cosmetic awesomeness. Fucking fire on Nuclear War Now's part and hails to whoever sent that to me. I'm honestly sorry I can't remember who sent it but we were blasting perverted ceremony and definitely get into some beherit and as always thanks for watching you fucking rule hey.